Welcome to Is It Wrong to Watch So Much Anime with Jason and John, as we give you a quick 15 to 20 minutes of inside opinion and updates about the world of anime as we see it. This program is brought to you by the Parker Williams Branch, a Harris County Public Library. Let's go over the rules. This is a planned topics podcast. We will try and stick to the topic at hand and not have too many tangents. Number two, while recording, we will have a 15 minute timer. We will try to wrap everything up within that 15 minutes. If we are having a good conversation towards the end of that time, there will be a bonus five minutes to wrap it up. Number three, if the conversation is still too good to stop, we will stop recording that episode and start recording an overtime episode back to back released on the same day. And a fair warning, spoilers happen. Oops, our bad. Hello and welcome to Is It Wrong to Watch So Much Anime? Today's edition is going to be about uh, all the different things that are coming to this fall, uh, from series to movies to spin-offs to remakes. We'll talk a little bit about everything that we found interesting. So I am going to start the timer. Alright, so the first series that we have coming up is our namesake. Is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? Season 3. So, pretty much the first thing I thought of was, hey look, it's more Belle Crandall, that's awesome. But what happened to this black dragon myth from last season? It's like this, this ending tale where they never explained what it was, where it's going. That'll probably be one of the I would think like end game answers that they're gonna give you. But it's looking like this season they're focusing more on the monsters this time around. Now that they're showing or the one that showed up in the trailer has actual like emotions. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty interesting. They're normally just mindless things that you kill for um, gold. Like yeah. any video game. But now that there's one showing real, I guess, feelings, Bell's looking to protect. Well, what he's talking about is the monster that drops out of the side of the dungeon is named Xenos, which in Greek means stranger, alien, or foreigner. And she is a girl born in the dungeon. The question is, is she a monster or is she a maiden? Is she the person that needs to be saved or is the person that someone needs saving from? So, also, one thing that they, they threw in there, uh, in the word, the wordage, is Vinny the Bullier Girl. So, Bullivir um, Vol- is a snake-like dragon with rubies on the forehead that act as eyes. So, may, I mean, Synonymous in mythology is the, the crossover between snake, worm, and dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh, depending on the culture, they all kind of rotate those types of themes. So maybe she's the black dragon that needs to be defeated. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. This is one of those shows that I read the title and I thought it was going to be something new. But then I actually watched it and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. So. I've been. Ex- I was excited when season two came out, and season three just more. I'm excited. So another continuing season is High Q to that the top. One, that one's just a really good. Show. Part two. Mm-hmm. So pretty much, it, it's it's kind of gonna be the same old, same old. More volleyball matches. More rooting for the Karasuno High team. Mm-hmm. Um, I still need to catch up on the first part, but it has been put off just so I could binge it as a whole. So that means mm-hmm. this upcoming season of anime, I'm actually gonna watch through all of it. So that'll be fun. So up after that is Golden Kamui season three, the gold uh, treasure hunt continues. Yes, that one was actually pretty interesting because its whole premise is that there's a secret hidden gold, so which is causing the gold rush, but the map is on tattooed on prisoner skin. So it's not only Hunting for gold, you have to find all the people that have it. So. Uh-huh. So, and you have to skin them. Mm-hmm. So, only minor spoilers. So, season three is it's still more gold rush, but it's also two main protagonists got split up. Mm-hmm. So, one of them's trying to find the other. 
well, so then you get a lot more backstory, and yeah. So, one of the spin off series that's getting a lot of attention right now is called Yasha Hime, which is basically Yasha Princess. Um, it's basically a spin off from Inuyasha. Which I have not seen. In which but I only started watching anime like two years ago. So, oops. It's, one, it's one of those tsunami ones for us late at night. You know, 90s kids. Uh, so basically, it's a bunch of familiar faces. You see Kagome's brother all grown up. Uh, the offspring are of the original characters. One of them travels through a tunnel that leads them ahead in time. And so now they get raised by or Yashahime, who's the, the main character. I think she's the daughter of the main yeah, oh, so Kagome Inuyasha, and yeah. Inuyasha. So she's like a half demon. So, yeah. If you like Inuyasha, this will probably be a good peek back into that world. Uh, new story, similar characters, uh, similar flavor. So, another one is a remake uh, When Inuyasha. They Cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Higurashi. So, Rashi. this one, I'm a little. I don't know if I'd say excited. I am trying to get into different genres of anime. So horror is definitely one of them. So I am hoping, I mean, I've seen the first few episodes of the 2000, I think it was six series, but I figured I'd just wait until the new one comes out. I'm still looking for a show that's horror that I can really get into and kind of get scared by, but I haven't found one. I haven't seen that many, granted, but I'm hopeful for this one. So this, this one's got some horror, it's also got some suspense. So it's the who's hiding what secrets uh, from the, the three trailers that are out. There's a temple ceremony, but is the part of the temple ceremony human sacrifice? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, the movies. Movies. Yeah, movies are one of the ones that we're super excited about because Demon Slayer Mugen Train is coming out. Yeah, um, I watched the season and it was really good. And then at like a certain point, it just got awesome. I guess is the only way I could do it, <laughs> but I'm really excited. So as soon as they announced the movie, which was like right after the season ended, I was like, okay, mark my calendar. Let's do this. We're going to go. And of course, everything that's happened, we have to push it back. But when it does come out, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Especially so, with the movie budget. So. Yes. So the, the main villain is killing people by putting them to sleep into such a deep dream state that their brains forget to do things like make their hearts beat. Mm -hmm. So that means that it's time that we get to see Tanjiro relive his past it's true and that's in every show so now we're getting it on a train which is a there's not many animes on a train bakuno but that's the only one that comes well to full metal alchemist that's true. but that takes place like exclusively on a train oh right? only on a train basically um, no but trains are involved yeah. oh. but i'm yeah. excited so it's going to be good Hopefully we'll see some more of the different forms. Some different Maybe. demons. Well, we are going to see different demons, mm -hmm. but even more. Because we're still, I think they're barely getting into um, like the tire members. Mm -hmm. So I want to see those. Well, but we're also going to be seeing uh, a Harisha actually take on like a demon. Hashira. Hmm. Hashira. Hashira. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yes, that'll be awesome. Another one is this one's going to be not not anything that's related to a series, but it's called Burn the Witch, and it's by Tight Kubo, who's the same guy who did Bleach. Uh, Which I started two months ago. So it is hunting dragons in London, except there are like two different realities. There's like what everyone sees. And then there's what all the people who can use magic see. So it's called Front London. 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 <laughs> the front London and Reverse London. So kind of like, you know, 
muggles versus magic folk. Mm -hmm. Which would be cool. I like dragons and hunting them down is pretty interesting. Yes. Story? Story? That's not the word I'm looking for, but I can never think of the word. It sounds interesting. So. Ah, then we got some new series is coming in. So these are new stories uh, from Show and Jump, Jujitsu Kaisen. Kaisen, which is basically demons exercise Japanese style. So kind of Esper-ish, using like the, the different seals and things like that, and your mental mind powers to like destroy them. There's a cursed item. Uh, There's a lot of curses, from what I saw. And I kind of read up on it, more like the background info. So I know that there's this guy who eats a curse and then gets a curse. So that sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, Crunchyroll's putting a lot of money into it, so it'll be good. Nice. Uh, also, the it is done by a by the studio Mappa, who oh, yeah. is also doing Taiso uh, Samurai. Yeah. But also we'll get... doing Attack on Titan's final season. Yes, they're yeah. they're, they're doing a lot of the big stuff. 2021 is going to be even better than fall 2020. Uh, we'll talk about that later when we get into winter. So then another one is a weird, mysterious girl claiming to be an omniscient god comes to you one day and lives out your summer vacation. And it's called The Day uh, I Became God. So there's a lot of humorous hijinks of, you know, basically somebody has no idea what this world is about. And then the, the rug gets pulled out from under you because guess what? She's like, well, why are you worrying about your summer homework? The world's gonna end in 30 days. This is one of those shows that's by a guy named Jun Maeda. I hope I said that right. Oh, well. Um, and if you know any of the other stuff he's worked on, it's stuff like Angel Beats, Clannad, and that after story, Charlotte. So I've been, I haven't seen all of his shows, but the ones I've seen, I've enjoyed. Clannad's probably the one I enjoyed the most. Charlotte was, it was good. And then the ending kind of, only kind of went off the rails. So it's basically but, cute girl apocalyptic. I mean, every, every one of his shows almost always has sign, um, similar themes and stuff like that. So there is a thing online called June Maeda Bingo where you can actually mark off every little trope of his he does, like alternate worlds, magic twists, high school settings, etc. So it's I'm actually going to print one out and follow that, see if how many of those I get on this show. But I'm hoping this is more of the show that sticks the landing than kind of misses over the mark. Or mm -hmm. like breaks its ankle. Like Charlotte. Because it was good, like I said. It, it, up to like a point, then it kind of changed what it was. And the ending is just really different. Uh, next up is Ikibukuro Westgate Park, which is, you know, basically like the Outsiders. Like, it's basically gangs in a park and all of their inner conflicts between each other, between the gang members, and things like that. It looks interesting um, because all of these different events are going to intertwine at that park, uh, the Westgate Park. That one I don't know too much about. I just watched the one trailer. It looks interesting enough that I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see from there. Then our last crusade, or the rise of the new world, is one of those like modern day fantasy things where it's a mix between swords, magic, and guns. Uh, has interesting modern like visuals as well as the usual. There's a war between two countries and there are two enemies that fall in love and guess <laughs> what there's a blonde girl and you know what her name is i'll give you i'll give you a hint it's alice again because you can't have a blonde girl in anime who is european that isn't named alice i'm sure it's a trope everywhere else let's see the last blonde person I saw was named. I don't even remember. Hold on. Yeah, so I was watching Alicization, so her name was Alice. Mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, uh, <laughs> one that we are super. Oh, I'm still going to watch it. You know, don't get me wrong. I love modern day fantasy with like the guns, magic, sword type deal characters. I also love those. 
So one, uh, the next one is one that's uh, a manga, based on a manga called Moriarty the Patriot. It's the anti-hero story of James Moriarty, the equal to Sherlock Holmes. But, they're, so they're gonna throw in Moriarty. He's gonna be an anti-hero, and he's gonna be trying to equalize the class system in England, turn of the century. Uh, so there's gonna be Sherlock characters and interactions and things like that, uh, cat and mouse, different things. And I, I'm really looking forward to that. I like when stories are told from different angles, because then you get, I guess, a better understanding of the overall picture. So I'm looking forward to that one too. So after that is Tai Taiso Samurai, aka the English title is probably going to be Samurai Gymnast. Also done by Mappa. So. Yep. So a personal story of perseverance as an athlete reaches for the top. You know the theory on ice, um, high Q, you know all the different sports stories that we hear. So it's going to be from the gymnast perspective. It's something that we might not see a lot of. And then another one from Webtoon is called Noblis, uh, which is basically another war of the supernatural, except here's the twist, it's on a high school campus. So That's very twisted. That's wow. never been done in anime. Before. Ever. My hero? Nobody knows what that one is. Nope. I don't even think it takes place in high school. So we're going but. to have the high school tropes that we're used to as comic relief thrown into mm. uh, of, you know, one of the, if you remember an old series called Witch Hunter Robin, or Robin, mm -hmm. um, it has a very, like, mix of magic as science type mm -hmm. vibe, where they're using magic as science, so. From what I understand, the principal of this high school he's going to is actually Frankenstein, so it'll be interesting to see all those different things. Didn't they do that in Soul Eater? I haven't seen Soul Eater yet. Yeah, so one of the teachers in Soul Eater is basically Frankenstein. He's like a genius. Well, he's Frankenstein <laughs> and Frankenstein's monster put together. Uh, put together. Can you remember? The monster never had a name. Sure. Alright. Is that it? That's, it. that's all my notes. Um, I think that's basically it, actually. We got through a lot of them. Um, let's see. Journey of Elena, I might look into just because it's a light novel adaptation. And a lot of good. I found that a lot of really cool animes that are started as light novel adaptations. So. And that one's been, I've been hearing a lot more about lately, probably because of this new show. And then Warlord, Warlords of Sig something, Sigrita? I can't remember. Sigrita? Uh, I'm going to look into that one, like I'll give it a try because the author of ReZero is working on the show. So, and I really like ReZero. What's it about? I don't know. I saw author of ReZero and I was like, okay, add. I will look into that later. So, that's about it. We basically covered everything else. I think it's not as packed as, or there's not as many shows here that I'm going to say, I have to watch like this season where I had ReZero, I had Snafu, you know, I have all these other things. But there's a good amount of shows that have the potential to be just great this season. Yep. Winter is going to be the season that we've got yeah. Attack on Titan season four, mm -hmm. ReZero part two, and Log Horizon, all these other shows that have been waiting for. So. Which we'll talk about when we get to that. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, you can always put them in the chat below, and we'll get to them. All right. See you later. Bye.